Alright, so this video here is basically the camera and the stuff I picked up today for this channel. Um, it's, personally, I like the camera, it looks great. Um, surprisingly works well for vlogging and actually just taking regular photos. Um, one thing that I do no did notice is there's one big con for vlogging with it. I'll go over that. But five steps that, five steps that I, or not five steps, five things that I looked for when getting a camera was A, have a flip screen. I like having a flip screen so I can see what's going on and I can see myself. Also, um, it needed to have an external mic jack. If it doesn't have an external mic jack, I really don't see a point in buying it. Because your audio is going to be choppy and not very well. Um, does it have good placement for the mic jack? Or good, um, good hot shoe placement? Is it going to get in the way of your flip screen? Blah, blah, blah. Low aperture, that's number four. So they... During low lighting, it still shows up like in the day. Um, another thing is, is I wanted to make sure that all around, the camera is going to last me, and the battery is going to last me for the day. So, we're going to be doing what is in my camera bag. So, this is my camera bag right here. And, well, as you can see here, we got water. This is one thing that I make sure to keep in here, is water and one of these. That's, that's what I've had in here all day. I can fit two water bottles in here, just because I get thirsty. At least you got something to drink, right? Put that off the side. So, next... One second, I need to take a drink here. Crystal Light Pink Lemonade, my favorite uh, shaking stuff to put in here. So, actually, we'll start with this little pouch here. In here, we have a few SD cards. We have there's this mini one that actually came in the case. These came in the case. So I don't think they cleaned it out very well. I got my camera and most of the, all of this basically at the pawn shop. Except for these SD cards and one other thing I'm going to show you. So it's just a SanDisk micro SD, 60 gigabyte. And then I have a nice 32 gigabyte SD memory card right here. And then... A 32 Samsung Mini SD, which, if I'm correct, it'll fit into, this is, like, just a mic micro SD holder. These are the micro SDs. So, if these work, I'll probably just buy micro SDs. Kind of cheaper. So, next, we have the... We have the camera straps. Just some regular Canon. Regular Canon straps right here. Personally, I took mine off because I just, if it's here, you can't really get that long angle. So it, it just didn't work for me. So I just took mine off, threw mine in my bag because I'm not always going to be vlogging with this camera. I am going to be doing photo shoots and stuff. So it is going to be nice to have. I'm gonna get a uh, different one. Probably a bit cooler one. But yeah. Next we go into here. And so I got this thing here for 20 bucks. I'm very frustrated because it actually doesn't fit to my camera. And I probably should have made sure of that before buying it. But it is an Opteca, here's the actual box for it. It's an Opteca Fisheye High Definition HD2. 
This is nice little packaging. There's also one more piece. There's this adopter ring sort of thing. It really doesn't seem necessary. Um, is Opteca flywheel 0.20 AS. This just slides off right here. Very big zoom. Like, I can see myself personally there. When you look through it, oh, there I get this set off. But... This is one issue here, though. When you try to take off the back piece here, this lens comes completely off. And it's a lot harder to get this off. Probably should have loosened it before the video, because I'm not going to be able to get that off. But, if I look through it, it's very clear, and it gives great, like, it's going to, it would give great, um, range, sorry. Give you good context, so everything, like, I'm just using my iPhone XR right now, product red, and you can see pretty much everything around me. Mm. Actually, yeah, basically everything around me, except for my dresser right here. But yeah, this doesn't fit, but I'm hoping to figure out, or figure out an adapter, or maybe someone I know might be able to tell me what adapter I might need for this to work. And if it doesn't work, I'll probably just sell it. But it's a 2009 Apteca Fisheye. Super wide fisheye lens 0.20x zoom. Put this back in the camera here. Now, next thing is not the camera itself. It is the little cheap um stand type holder type thing. Now, I'm not great with names of things. But, yeah. So, it's an Optex. And that was not supposed to happen. But, it has um, a quick release right here. So, when this goes in, that just pops in. Slides all the way in like that. Just pop like that. Wasn't in all the way a while ago, that's why. But, it um, has a quick release, which is nice. Um, also, there is a little ball. You just loosen this little screw here, and it gives you good, gives you better 180, it gives you decent forwards 180 motion than anything. Completely down, completely up. Gives you a bit of side motion, but to do side, you can't really tighten it as well. So, it's more of just front and back type thing. Alright. So, last but not least. Canon EOS M3. Yeah, Canon EOS M3. Um, I bought this for $499. Uh, dollars. But, where I bought it, um, it was $20. 20% off all cameras and accessories. And they also gave me the free bag. So that uh, fisheye only came to like 15 bucks or something. Um, it's got the 15 to 45 millimeter um, lens with an image stabilizer. It's got very neat buttons. Like I like the button placements for all this. One thing though that I wish was a bit different is the video and play button. Because I'll be going to click those sometimes. And they just, they kind of, I click the wrong one sometimes. So that's one little con, but it's nothing big. I'll probably figure it out after a little while. Um, this wheel right here spins, as well as being able to click on it for your up, down, left, right. Um, so, 1555, and the lens right here has a little button. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Little button right here. Bam. So, 
this is at the 45 millimeter range. Um, I use the 15 for my vlogging for my vlogs because it gives you nice range. Now, I do not have a mic yet, but I did just purchase one. And I was like, great, I got a mic, perfect, my volume will sound better. Then I realized, look at the cold shoe placement. This camera doesn't flip. This flip screen does not flip to the side. I would personally like that a lot better. I feel like it would work, bit, work nicer with this. You cold shoe could stay right here but no has to flip up that i do not like because now if i had a mic here it's gonna block my screen if i'm gonna buy a vlogging camera with a flip screen it's obviously so that when i am here like this at an arm's length i can actually see myself um, also, it kind of folds downwards, nice leaning down, so that if you're trying to shoot an up top picture, you can actually get a good picture. Say I'm trying to shoot real high above me right here, I get a good picture. Um, I have used the feature, it actually works well, and it's kind of got... When it rolls in, it's very, like, it does it for you type thing. When you go to lift it up, it's got springs to push the screen right out because for the screen to stay, the screen can't actually stay all the way low because then you're blocking off your screen. So it has little springs back here to help that. Uh, now I'm going to set up everything on it right now and show you how it looks. Not exactly sure of the complete specs there. I haven't looked at them. Also, the battery placement is right over here. In a very constantly place. One thing I do not like is it's kind of hard to get to it. Uh, SD chips right here. You've got your battery right here. And your battery charger is just a Canon. Uh, single, single battery charger. Uh, when you close this up. To this side here, you have HDMI. Therefore, I'm assuming that would mean that you could use this for streaming as well, which I've heard. You kind of just set this up. It'll stream and everything. And it'll come right to your computer. No lag, nothing. Um, also, this button right here is to take your lens completely off. Now, let me turn it on. You, you really, you don't, you don't see anything. Not a single thing. Well, let me put my lens back on here. Mm. Left hand, it probably works better to use that one, eh? Put it to 15. Now, you can actually see a lot more. Um, I like to use the 15 because it works perfectly well. Now, if I use the flip screen, and I go like this, now, it's like good range, as you can probably see. Um, that's my mess of wind, do not worry about that. But, it works perfect. I really like the screen here um i was using it late at night and it actually worked well but to get to one of those con that con i was talking about with the mic there's this there's this little tip i found from a certain youtuber i'll put his link in the description but it was a c-shape he had a c-shaped um carrier here guinea pigs man they're so loud he had a c-shape here and he it was just too big for him he, he didn't like it what he found out by accident though was that it comes apart 
So you just screw on whatever side. So if you want your mic to the left, then boom. You want it to this, uh, sorry, if you want it to the left here, you'd screw it on that way. If you want it to the right, you'd screw it on that way. And then you just take your hot shoe, adapt on there, and then you got your mic. Um, I was kind of looking more for like a two-way um, hot shoe adapter to come both sides. That way I could have my mic on my left side and I could have a lighting uh, rig on the right side. I could not find one, sadly. But other than that, so that would just screw on here. I have not got it yet. Uh, I just ordered it before I filmed this video. So I'm waiting to see if I will still be able to connect my uh, bipod. Tripod. There we go. Tripods. That's what they're called. So I could connect my tripod because I really like having the tripod. It just works so well for me. I can actually hold it out to a distance. And. Oh, well, it works if I was turning it on right, right here. Uh, make more sense. But yeah. I want to make sure that I can still attach a tripod. If not, I'm going to have to look for a different one. But. Uh, get the screen back on here. It's really good. It's I use at the 15. I have, um, if I go into my menu settings here, flip the screen back down, set it back into place, menu. So for actual stuff here, shooting information display, reverse display on, image review two second, touch shutter disable, continuous autofocus. For me, I like to have that on, just because it works great. Uh, flash control, digest height, movie record size. I have mine at 1280x720, 50 frames per second. Another thing I have um, that I find cool about it is actually this little flash. Got kind of cool. Nice, compact in here. So funky, though. The way it just comes out, you click this button here, boom, flaps out. Um, one little issue with it though, when you attach your screen, is you can't really see this side of it where the camera is. But if you do need flash, or lighting, you can just use this lighting here. But yeah, other than that, that's what I bought, was a Canon EOS, um, M3, um, my microphone stuff, when I get it all, I'll do a quick little show and set up how I set it all up, in all honesty though, it's very nice, you can just hold it in your hand while you're walking, make sure you obviously turn it off, you don't want to keep it on, but yeah, also, your little external mic, there's one little issue I find. They're so hard to open without nails. If you if you have anxiety and you chew your nails, you would know how hard it is to actually open stuff. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna close it back here. When you close it like this, it's gonna say set the lens to the shooting position. Obvious, but yeah. Other than that, thank you, and have a good day.